On today's video, we discuss a couple tips for long blocking your beetle. YouTube plan. <laughs> He's still new. Yeah. Everybody, it's Gavin. Gavin. It's Gavin. Second appearance. Woo. All so right. We got him back here um, in the body shop, just doing uh, some training on stuff that uh, I'm getting too old to do repeatedly day after day. Well, there you go. You finally have some help with that. Yes, finally got some help. This is good. Yes. Do you have fingerprints? I still do. All right. All yeah. right. Give it another another couple days. <laughs> another week or two. Well, I wanted to see because you're long blocking yeah. and I want to give the nice people out there some tips on making like this is this is the secret to getting that dead nut straight it, paint. It is. Right? This is this is actually the backbone of a really nice paint job. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I it will be teaching him how to sh how to pull the trigger and stuff, but it's fairly easy to do. It becomes muscle memory after a while, as this does. Yeah. But it's if you don't get this thing right, it shows up later. Sure. And the darker the car, the more you're going to see it. Right. It's like black is almost like a full mirror. Sure. So um, I've got three tips for you guys since I am doing training. So I'm going to have Gavin kind of uh, sh show what we're doing. Okay. So what was the first one? We're going to be doing, uh, oh, harder mix. Okay. So it had it, long blocking and then also filling. Okay. So it's got two on long blocking and one on filling. So one, we always want the longest straightest hardest surface that we can to put the backing for um, the sandpaper because we don't want to be putting grooves in with our fingers all right so we're going to grab the long block we'll come over to the other side working on that side. so go ahead and show people what we're working with first so this is just this is a generic one i think this was harbor freight and maybe 10 years ago so it's a good wow. it's inexpensive um, i've had to glue the backing in a couple times <laughs> Um, but it's actually got a steel plate in it. Mm -hmm. and some of them have rods in it to increase tension and decrease tension. But the nice thing about this, it flexes. It flexes and it goes back to itself. So, so if, by doing that um, on that, um, you're actually able to cover more of a surface panel. Mm -hmm. And so he's actually demonstrating the second the second tip that I have. So sometimes you don't in, are not in a position where you can use both arms. Right. So the solution is we actually use the forearm as the second stabilizer. Oh yeah. All right. So it keeps everything. See how it keeps everything. Right. And it keeps the curve of the beetle. Oh, that's great. So right now he's just doing the, the filler. So do we have any other spots to fill too? Because that's kind of our next step. Uh, right here. Okay. Make, um, we'll come over to the mixing table. And we'll go ahead and you'll see these little circles and you people who have watched my watched me do this before the reason for the circles is so you can continue working and then you come back and you do filler since we're doing so it's, it's like sticking a post-it right <laughs> so in the filler what we're doing um i prefer the stainless steel blades mm -hmm. one you can notice there's a shape and they're controllable sure and they've got a they've got a pretty good flex for maintaining a level surface mm -hmm. Uh, next thing, glass board. I talked about this last week, I think. Nope. Um, you know, there was a, some comment that, that popped ah. up that somebody liked it. And then the, the final tip is going to be your mixture on your ratio. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to be like a light baby blue. Mm -hmm. You actually want it to be almost a pale blue. So, Gavin, go ahead and mix up a little bit. You know, see how much he's actually using here? Yeah, not much. Not much. Almost invisible. So he, he's got that, and then he's just going to take a little bit because he's just got a small spot. And he's almost all four with this now. So now he's activating it. The more harder you put into it, the faster it's going to cure. Yeah. So it doesn't actually dry. It's a chemical thermal, It's a chemical process. So you see how there's a very slight color difference. Yeah, it's difference. just a little gray now. Yep. And this will give about a minute to two minutes worth of working done. Okay. 
So you just mix a tiny bit at a time, right? Well, we only want to mix what, what we think we're going to use in, in the next yeah, minute. Yeah, <laughs> in the next minute, because like this is our leftovers. Oh, so sure. you want to go ahead and apply that? And you notice he's also working with two blades. Yeah. And one is to act as a palette. Ah. So, and first what he's doing is he's just applying it. Mm -hmm. Being careful of his lines to make sure he gets all of his voids. And then he'll scrape it semi-flat, but not really, because he wants to have enough surface to pull off. Right, okay. So. And then how long does that take to dry? That'll be about two, three minutes. Mm -hmm. And so what he's doing is he's going to continue sanding over there. Go ahead and get your blades cleaned up. He's going to continue sanding over on that first panel while this is, is curing. Mm -hmm. And how do you clean up your blades? Well, yeah, I'm going to show you. So you're going to remove that little stuff. Yeah, we just use like an old piece of sandpaper for that. Mm -hmm. And then was using this straight lacquer thinner. Mm -hmm. So you do that after every single application? After every single application. Otherwise, you have to go sharpen the blades again. Uh, and we generally sharpen these blades about once a day anyway. Yeah. When we use them. So sharp tools make, make for efficient tools. That's great. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So Very cool. That's what's going on today. All right, hey, uh, let's see what else is going on in the shop. Ooh, we've got our the big D. <laughs> well, he's still <laughs> here. <laughs> we uh, we were still playing the hiring game some this week. So yes. Yesterday we had an interview and hired another person. There we go. So you'll be seeing that showing up. Yeah. Soon, That's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. It's like. We we finally have like enough people. Now we need the space, but we've got mm -hmm. enough people now yep, that we people. can really speed some of this stuff up. Yeah, and yeah we really are going to see the space we need because two of the people we hired are mechanics. Yeah. And both of them have huge boxes, right. toolboxes. So one of them has a 60, 70 inch box, which oh, wow. is about from that wood to here, and it's six foot tall. Oh my and the goodness. other one has an 86 inch toolbox, oh, no. which is six and a half foot tall. <laughs> And I don't know where that one's going yet. So oh boy. it's a good problem to have though. It is. Yeah, we went from no mechanic to two mechanics with, with all, all tools. kinds of tools. Yeah. yeah, we went from that to that. So we'll That's uh, great. Yeah. So anyways, um we got a lot of that going on. We hired uh, a person yesterday. I won't go into it. You guys just have to Yeah, you just have deal. to wait and see. It's so kind of exciting. So that makes a total of five. So yes. we have Gavin who's obviously here already and we got four coming and they're staggered. <laughs> so between now and August Third, no, August 10th would be the last one. Okay. So there's one in July, at the end of July, there's two at the beginning of August, and one in August 10th. So wow. they'll be coming in staggered. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so as far as cars go, we uh, got Herbie. He's back on the ground again, like yeah. he was previously. So we told y'all we were working on a steering issue with him. I didn't like it, and we did a couple of things on him this morning. I'm going to take him out. It was raining all the yesterday. Yeah. Uh, a little bit today, but. Yeah, it's been sprinkling. So we had cars behind him, so I couldn't do anything, but now we got that cleared up, so I'm going to take him on a trip. Great. Uh -oh. What is it? I don't know. We're going to unbox it. Oh, I'm sorry all right. to interrupt you, but this yeah. is actually kind of. All right, one sec, one sec. I know what this is. You know what it is? I know what it is. All right. So those of you who know, um, we, we've written a couple books. Yeah. Uh, this is our latest book from CarTech. Oh, good. All right. One. Advanced copies? These are the advanced copies. So, um, so the people, these are going to go to the people who helped our us write Our contributors. Yeah. We're not going to try to name you because I know we'll forget somebody. But Yep. So, that is the new book. Oh, that's exciting. We got crotch coolers in there, too. Yeah. So. Awesome. So it's available on Amazon as Kindle right now. I know. Kindle's available. Like the print version is, it is uh, somewhere. <laughs> so I just wanted to, to, oh, no, sure. to share that. Yeah, let's see. So it's even got a really good iPhone picture of me. And oh, they yeah. hate iPhone pictures. So. <laughs> anyway, that's really cool. Exciting. I haven't even read it yet. I've read it. Right. But I So I, it's how to build and customize. Yep. How to build and modify. Modify. There we go. UW Beetle. There so, we go. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Back to the regular schedule. There we there. go. Okay. All right. All right. We had to do that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, also October sixteenth, October sixteenth, October sixteenth. Come on our out! Show, our show, our show, yeah. And we're gonna have shirts that kind of look like that, yeah, but just a little dates different. Dates can change because that's not the right date. Exactly. Anymore. But it's gonna look close to that. So. Yep. Um, anyway, so Herbie, we're gonna take him on a ride in a minute. Make sure he's okay. Great, Hopefully Riley, Gazzo, Range. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. So 
We've got uh, some stuff out here. All right. If you want to go out this way, and we'll check that out. We got finally got some things to talk about there. We're going home, hopefully. So we'll do that. Awesome. Perfect out timing. Here. <laughs> yeah. Out here, I guess we talked about the panels back there. Yeah, those are the to convertible to go. We're right. gonna sit here, kind of in the holding pattern, because we were waiting on. Right. So we actually get it all going together, and next thing is a bunch of cutting apart. So okay. when we start that, that's going to be a it's pretty elaborate because being a convertible, when the main piece we have to replace is that heater channel and support, yeah. which is holding the two pieces of the car together. It so doesn't we have to build look a frame. so strong right now. Yeah, well, it isn't, and we have to cut that all out. So really, the whole back half of the car and the front half would be separate. So we have oh, to build a frame so that that yeah. stays where it's supposed to be. That's good. So that's going to be exciting. But Stability is a good thing. Miss Farrell's car out here, and y'all been seeing the last couple weeks. We had some brake problems with it. Well, and I would show it, but it's hard to see on film. But the the master cylinder we put in brand new had a a factory default in the casting. There was a hole, a oh, little no. hairline crack that you couldn't see, and it would just seep brake fluid through it. Oh. And uh, actually, Gavin, he's the one that not, spotted the it, right? Spotted it. Yeah, we had been beating our heads up on this bleeding. So for y'all that don't know, when you bleed brake show, there's no air, so you bleed them gets all the air out and then you just got the pressure of the fluid and it does so when there's any air introduced it, it gets squishy and you lose all that well right. we had just kept losing it we didn't know where within we, right. we tightened things we replaced things we did all this and it turned out to be just a little hairline oh crack and it, was, it was hard to i find. actually got a photo of the moment when he found it okay, well, so he was so under this so we got that <laughs> we, we had to order another master cylinder right. we got it in got it in um bled him yesterday and i'm about to take this on it's test drive but i think it's okay. gonna be fine so actually Good. josh is josh putting is doing the, it mounting the, the uh <laughs> mounting the uh reservoir back in and then boom that's on and then we got mr miller's beetle out there super beetle we took the engine out yeah set all the tins off did that put the motor back in it's running i'm about to take it on test drive okay. make sure it's okay and doesn't have no problems and then both these should be going home fantastic so we're good there get rid of get rid of two beetles we love beetles but there's so many of them here it's like they're multiplying yeah it's almost so, like the Japanese beetles get my yeah, rose bushes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> right time of year, too. Yeah, that's true. We call them June bugs. Yeah, we July go. bugs. July bugs. July bugs. So, anyways, that's pretty much what's going on. We did get um, another client's car came in last night for y'all. We talked about it a little bit. Oh. We started the deal where we could uh, store cars at yeah. an off-site storage facility. Mm -hmm. So, we got uh, our first car there last night about 11 o'clock. Oh, actually wow. have to go over there and do some work on that yeah set up. but Fantastic. yeah so we got off-site storage until we get our building built to where if you're paying a lot um to keep it or if it's in your way yeah and you're on our list we can we can bring it here and put it in this storage facility right free up some space for yeah. you and so and then it's right down the road so when it is your turn we just we don't have to go through the whole hey we're ready to send the car or do yeah. this we can just go get the car and bring oh, it over that's here. great because we so, do get vehicles from all over the country yeah, so and uh, actually you know puerto rico i think is the yeah, furthest and he's, uh, <laughs> yeah and uh, we actually i called him and told him go ahead and start that so he's in the process of getting his yeah. ready to go he said he needed about two weeks so he's okay. in the process of getting his all loaded up and it'll be on it's i guess a shipping container i don't know come out on the way over here wow so that's it'll be exciting. heading here soon and then and then I think the next one after that is our square back from Austin, Texas. Okay. Full resto on that. And that should be coming here soon yeah. too. So, but anyways, yeah. So we have several things going on. That's so awesome. Things go. are looking up and exciting, and yeah, this is, we it's really have cool. Some stuff going on in the building. I said last week. I think the end of this month they're supposed to cut the trees. Right. As soon as that happens, boom, we can start moving. Oh yeah. So within so, a couple weeks. Yeah. So that was fun. the first time that the. The tree guy could yeah. free yourself up to come do it, so we're kind of waiting in his mercy. Sure. Now. Well, every trade around here is extremely busy, 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 backed busy, up. Yep. So, so anyways, so look for that. I guess we'll have some video of that when it starts. That sounds good. So. Awesome. Well, thanks, and you know what to do. Bye, right, guys.